in this video we will look at image display and capture and we will start with multi-slice layouts and taking 2D captures that you can then use in your presentations and publications. To demonstrate this we again use the view tool which is still open from the previous exercises. If we return to the DB load page then from the Bruker PCI database we can select not mouse one anymore but rat one which has some brain segmentation MR images to work on. In the series we see a T2 TurboRare 3D which we can add to the selected for loading list and open. So here we see this 3D T2 weighted MR image. Instead of capturing display in the three orthogonal planes where we have a rather empty space and even with using the MIP image for MR it may not be the most attractive presentation image. In this case if we go to the layouts tab in the top right we can change from the orthogonal planes layout to one of the three individual planes. In this case if we select the Y plane then we're looking at the horizontal section through the brain. At the moment we have one large display and we see the side panels of the slices on the left hand side. Those individual slices can be hidden using the icon in the lower left. Then instead of using a one by one single image layout we can change that to a four by four layout in which case we see a different slice in each of these rows and then continuing through the image display. If we want to make sure that we cover the entire brain, the available slices in the display, we can return to the general image manipulations tab where we can actually configure a gap between the slices. In this case we can skip two slices between each image displayed by entering a value of 3 here and updating by pressing enter. Then if we use the slice selection slider or the mouse wheel or scrolling on the Mac touchpad we can adjust the display until we see stepping slices covering the whole brain in our 4x4 layout. Then if we want to capture that particular image for presentation in the lower right of the image display we have a capture icon. If we click on that we see the available options and the two that we will look at will be capture display. We also see that there are keyboard shortcuts for these options and then after looking at capture display we will look at the scientific output where we can include a color bar. So first of all if we use capture display we open a dialog in which we can configure what we want to capture and in what format. In this case we want not only the active area but the full display. If we want to take away all of the small labels for the anatomical orientation we can turn off the annotations using the T button just above the little image display and if we want to directly paste this image into something like PowerPoint instead of using a fixed file format we can select clipboard and then when we set that image to the clipboard it's available to be pasted into another program. So if I quickly move to a blank PowerPoint slide I can then paste and we're able to move that around and resize it as expected to plan our presentation. If I return to the view tool we can then demonstrate the scientific capture from the same capture icon in the lower right of the image display. For scientific output we get multiple dialogues. Initially we get to choose the overall layout for scientific output, whether we want to include a color bar, which we do. Here I will make the color bar vertical and I will annotate it with the precision of only a single decimal place and I'm happy with the output width of 768 pixels. Then when I confirm that dialog we see the scientific output 
preview browser, we see the capture with its color bar and annotated labels. Then if we use the capture button, we get a similar capture display dialog as for the standard capture display. Again, we can select clipboard, set the image to clipboard, close the scientific output dialog, and then in our extra PowerPoint presentation, we can paste in the scientific capture with its color bar for direct use in our slides.